and we are back with another habits video but today we're talking about money so throughout my years throughout my life I have spent a lot of money and I never really saved a lot so today I am sharing with you six habits that I have implemented in my daily life in order to spend less and save more habit number one which is a very big one and it is that I stopped eating out. I'm not saying that I won't treat myself every now and then because I do like to treat myself, especially sushi whenever I'm with my sister. But if I'm home and I know there's food like a few steps away, I'm not gonna order food. Sometimes I do, but I do it within my budget, if that makes sense. But I try to make all of my meals at home. Home. habit number two is that I stopped shopping without a purpose and by this I mean that before when I was young I used to go to the mall and if I saw a shirt I just bought it without thinking about many different ways of wearing it if it was worth it etc now whenever I go shopping I kind of make a list of things that I want in my closet or things that I need and if I see a piece that I don't need, that is just that I just like it, I try to get the cost per wear to the pennies because I'm not one of those people who just buy something, wears it once, and never wears it again. That's not me. If that's you, you better check yourself. Habit number three is that I set up out of saving. Yes. I personally have Chase, not sponsored, but I do have the feature where whenever I get a deposit, I can make a custom and have a certain amount taken out and put it away in a savings account. Me personally, I for every deposit I get, doesn't matter the amount, 25% goes to a savings account that I do not touch. That way, whenever, again, something gets deposited I kind of pay myself first and then I figure everything out with the balance and yes I also include this in my budget so it's not a surprise like at the end of the month I'm not missing money I don't have to scramble and transfer money from my savings to my regular check-ins because I run out of money habit number four it goes hand in hand with the savings and it is that I open up a high yield savings account if you don't know what a high yield savings savings account it is a savings account where you get a certain amount of um, interest paid back to you so basically you're getting paid to have money sitting in a savings account during the whole 2020 illness and now I guess a lot of banks um, lower their their interest but I know Ally Bank is good um, I also opened up uh, an account with Marcus Goldman Sachs but now I don't know about them they're really good but what I mean about how the whole illness impacted that for example um, Marcus Goldman I had a 1.5 percent of interest but now it's just back to 0.5 because people just don't, don't want to give you your money because you know it's a pandemic number five i stopped getting influenced by other people and by this i don't mean like you're not only like your regular schmegler people on social media but also by friends because for if a friend said oh let's go here or hey you gotta buy this or hey let's spend money i used to just go with it so i stopped doing that and i had to reevaluate my life and reevaluate what what is important to me and the goals i have to achieve which brings me to habit number six and it is that i learned how to say no yeah that was a big one for me because I don't like to say no to people. It's something in me, I just don't like to say no. Like, 
I'm, I'm a, I guess you can say I used to slash kind of am a people pleaser, but I had to stop that because I was spent all of my money and at the end of the day, I was not getting closer to my goals or whatever I have to achieve. And then at the end of the day, I'm here with an empty account. Yes, I had a good time for five minutes. It was all, all good, all well, but I had to ask myself, was all of that worth not saying no? Like, was saying no better than doing and going through all of that? You feel me? And a little bonus, number seven, the one that has saved me the most money is that I paid down credit cards with a high interest rate and I also had a loan with a little sketchy company that you know helped me out when I was in need but let's just say that my interest rate was very very high and it felt like whenever I made a payment it felt like it was never going down so one day I kind of got mad at myself for putting myself in that situation and I just paid it all off and now I just feel that relief because whenever that due date that day of the month comes by I am not stressed about paying not the minimum but it's like my 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 rate for that loan same thing goes for credit cards I the credit card with the highest interest rate I had was like a 20-19% so what did I do I, I owed a really high balance because I used to misuse my credit cards and put a lot of money into it and then pay the minimum which is not good so again I did the same thing I paid it all off and all of that saved me so much money because just in interest I could rack up up to three hundred dollars and that's money I'm not getting back it's money that's going straight to the bank so yeah guys these are my money habits that have changed my life I'm pretty sure there are a lot more but these are the seven seven ones I could think of if you have any money habits that have saved that have been saving you money please leave it down below in the comments and let's chat because I, I also want to know what are you in your money saving journey so make sure you like this video give it a thumbs up and thank you and i love you so much see you on the next one bye